the first ever artificial satellite, launched by the Russians in 1957. No bigger than a beach ball. It orbited the Earth for several weeks, emitting a simple beep-beep radio signal and freaking everyone out. Not that the beeping was so scary. That's not the point. Here's a view from space as Sputnik circled the Earth. Notice the large oceans of liquid water and big fat continents. Can you name all the continents? You can, but there's no point. They've got names already. At the time Sputnik was launched, tensions between the United States and the Union of Soviet Socialist Ruskies was at an all-time high. It sucked. Two months later, the U.S. built a satellite of its own. The space race was on. Vanguard, scheduled for launch December 6th. Three, two, one. Oh, crap. Not good. Our rockets were blowing up on the launch pad while the Reds had a satellite in orbit. Every 90 minutes, the damn thing went overhead. Beep, 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 beep. Lyndon Johnson, then a United States Senator, said, soon they'll be dropping bombs on us from outer space like kids dropping rocks onto cars from the overpass. To make matters worse, a year later, they launched Sputnik 2, this time with a dog on board. A dog! Like uh, the space dog. Fine. What do you think old LBJ had to say about that, huh? Soon they'll be dropping dogs on us from outer space, just like kids dropping dogs from the overpass. So what is the, you may ask, point? Well, I'll tell you. The new rocket technology made possible the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. In both countries, twitchy digits were poised over the big red button, itching to hurl an arsenal of atomic death across the globe in a final fiery apocalypse of mutually assured destruction. This is the Russian Premier's telephone. This is the Russian Premier's telephone melting in a nuclear inferno. Eee! Damn. Remember that movie with Charlton Heston when he was the last guy on Earth and he sat alone in a movie theater and watched movies? Then he met a black woman with an afro that rode around on his motorcycle and killed mutants. They don't make afros like that anymore. It was a perfect sphere. I wish I were the last guy on Earth. I wish there were nuclear war or some man-made plague and everyone were dead. Like that's gonna happen. I have no luck. Hmm. Uh. You again? Okay, you commies had your fun. Dogs in orbit. Ooh, whatever, doesn't matter. You know why? Because we had a secret weapon from Nazi Germany. That's right, what's a documentary without friggin' Hitler in it? The Spoils of War. German rocket scientist, Dr. Werner von Braun. Oh yeah. We put him on the job, and that turned the tide of the space race. <laughs> Achtung, baby! By 1969, Americans were on the moon. Take that, you commies. Ha! <laughs> After that, it was only a matter of time. The Berlin Wall fell and the Soviet Union collapsed, ushering in an unprecedented era of peace and prosperity. And America lived happily ever after. 
the end.